In this lab, you will see two methods for pressure calibration. First, you will calibrate a pressure gauge. Remove the transport cap from the cylinder. Ensure there is enough oil in the cylinder. Check the zero position of the unit by spinning the manual adjustment spindle all the way in. Record the value. Place the piston in the cylinder. Spin the manual adjustment spindle out all of the way until the piston rests on the oil. Then spin the spindle in until the value matches the pressure value you calculated for just the piston. Record data as outlined in the table on your lab sheet. Add the smallest additional mass. Make sure that the hole in the mass goes over the guide on the piston. Record the data for this pressure. One by one, add the other masses to the piston. Record data for each increasing pressure. When all data has been recorded, remove the masses and return them to the storage cylinder. Remove the piston and wipe away any excess oil. Return the piston to storage. Place the transport cap back in the cylinder. Make sure that the cap seals. Next, you will calibrate a pressure sensor. Plug in the unit and power it on. Plug in the pressure transducer to the back of the unit. Remove the transport cap from the cylinder. Ensure there is enough oil in the cylinder. If it needs to be refilled, gently pour more oil until the shaft is full of oil. Check the zero position of the unit by spinning the manual adjustment spindle all of the way in. Record the value. Using the relationship given on your lab sheet, calculate the theoretical voltage output when only the piston is placed in the cylinder. Place the piston in the cylinder. Make sure the piston is adequately supported on the oil cushion, adjusting the compensation handle as needed. Before taking data, one by one load the carriage piston with each weight allowing the system to come to a roughly balanced value for each new weight. Then unload all weights, leaving the carriage piston. Proceed to step eight and begin taking data. Spin the manual adjustment spindle out all of the way until the piston rests on the oil. Then spin the spindle in until the value matches the voltage value you calculated for just the piston. Record data as outlined in the table on your lab sheet. Add the smallest additional mass. Make sure that the hole in the mass goes over the guide on the piston. Record the voltage for this pressure. One by one, add the other masses to the piston. Record the voltage for each increasing pressure. When all data has been recorded, remove the masses and return them to the storage cylinder. Remove the piston and wipe away any excess oil. Return the piston to storage. Place the transport cap back in the cylinder. Make sure that the cap seals. Unplug the pressure transducer, power off the unit, and unplug it. Place the piston in the cylinder. Make sure the piston is adequately supported on the oil cushion, adjusting the compensation handle as needed. Before taking data, one by one load the carriage piston with each weight, allowing the system to come to a roughly balanced value for each new weight. Then unload all weights leaving the carriage piston. Proceed to step eight and begin taking data.